Well, Wadston was a house that was built for entertaining. It was never intended to be a home. So we know that it was only really used between May and September each year for weekend house parties. And the kinds of people who would have been coming here were Victorian high society because the Rothschilds moved in royal circles, political circles and artistic circles too. So the kinds of people who would have been coming here were very often the set that moved around the Prince of Wales, later Edward VII. Um, and Ferdinand was very involved in politics. And because this room is in the bachelor's wing, it would have been used by the male guests attending the house parties. So it could have been politicians, uh, other members of the royal family, and certainly the Prince of Wales, who would have used this room for relaxing and smoking in the evening, because it had a practical function as well as being the setting for the museum. Well, what characterises the Renaissance museum collection, as Ferdinand termed it, was that it was referring back to this tradition of the 16th and 17th century, uh, where European rulers in particular, um, and later private gentlemen, would form collections that really showed their view of the world. And they could be called a Schatzkammer, which means a treasure chamber, or a Kunstkammer, an art chamber, and they comprised lots of different materials, items made of exotic materials such as uh, amber, uh, mother of pearl, other precious stones, uh, small-scale sculpture in ivory and wood and bronze, and things made of glass, myolica, uh, and often items from the natural world. And Ferdinand was referencing this collecting tra tradition in the collection that he formed in the 19th century. The photograph shows the Prince of Wales and his wife, Princess Alexandra, and their children. And we know that the Prince of Wales was a very regular visitor to Wadston, and that he and Ferdinand were great friends. Um, and Wadston was the setting almost for an alternative court for the Prince of Wales, so he could be at ease here. It wasn't formal like the royal palaces in London. Um, and creating his own estate on Sandringham, he also had a bachelor's wing. And it's very interesting to speculate about how they influenced each other in terms of decor. But the photograph of, of the royal family with its wonderful red velvet frame with the gold lace was in this room. We know that from the photograph of the room and from the inventory taken at Ferdinand's death. And it's rather a nice sign of their friendship that alongside all of these museum quality objects, there were also the domestic objects that signalled this friendship. Thank you.